everybody. Hello. So unfortunately, something happened between you and me, you and uh, me in Eikuji campus. Something we are so afraid about happened. And there are several reasons why we need to change the class to be online, on-demand lecture. However, please understand, this is necessary step. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. So. And, and? Yes, so today's lecture will be presented uh, in the video and we will upload the materials. So please follow the instructions of this class. Right. Yeah, I hope you enjoy. And if you have any question about lectures, please email us, me or Mono, okay? And um, please do not hesitate, okay? Isn't a bit too strong? Hmm? Then, probably, uh, you have finished answering absolute poverty and relative poverty. That was the last uh, quizzes. And uh, based on it, we have discussed about a bit of uh, human history to understand yes. uh, poverty and causes. And today, I will make a lecture that continue what we discussed. Blue, blue, blue magic. Do you have? Uh, I think it's missing. So you may be able to find somewhere. Oh, okay, let me find it. Yes. No, no, in the back, I think. Within this bag. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The blue as well. So. Oh, this black one, very good. It comes nice. Okay, Moino, could you briefly review what we have done? 
Yes, so actually, so we have already explained the, the core things in the last lecture as well. So we told the backgrounds of the hunter-gatherers society and how the hunter-gatherer society evolved and what was the fundamental structure of the hunter-gatherer society and uh, what are the exchange system in the hunter-gatherers. We also explained like they do the self-production and also self self consumption so just for your reminder so what they produce they consume by equally sharing that was the feature for the exchange for the hunter gatherers and we also talked about in the last class about the governance system of the hunter gatherers so this is about the they follow the tribal system the tribal system means that there was a group of people more or less they are connected to with blood, with blood and then they follow the one leader and follow the instruction for making the decision of the leader of the tribe. The, the most important feature for the tribal system, the tribe was not very big. So they, they mostly know each other and they are very closely connected. So that was the best, very basic feature for the hunter-gatherer society. So this is the content of our previous class that we actually uh, described last time. And then from the hunter-gatherers, so the next society comes the agrarian. And at that time, so in the last class, we also explained that in the, the exchange system for the agrarian society was the barter. And that they also invent some kind of quasi-currency. It was not the currency of the money that we use this day. So this was some kind of transaction among them by the goods itself and the governance system we also try to give a light to what kind of governance so mostly the, the agrarian society it was the dictatorship and also the imperialism so i told about the mughal imperialism and give some kind of uh, explanation so what was the characteristics of the mughal empire and then from tribal system to dictator to imperialism, civilization and language. Please write down. Yes. Yes. Civilizations. So civilization and language, actually. So two key components that help to transform the society from the tribal system to the imperialism or the dictatorship. So I think so more or less so you already get the uh, broad picture how this transformation happened from the hunter-gatherers to the agrarian. So today we will also explain the later part as well so i think so one th thing is uh, we didn't write here about the concept of the rich and poor so do you think that there was any any rich or any poor people in this society so please think okay i will take over okay anyway uh monitor explain okay uh several part of what we said okay however uh what i want to say from today is okay out of this we want to understand what is the cause of the poverty from the history okay through the civilization and the language what i say was do you remember more no? from from civilization and language what become important? Yes. So what is possible by language and civilization? So the people start communicating with each other beyond their tribes. Without language, so you cannot communicate. We cannot communicate so other people. So that's how, as Professor Wright, the cultural transfer evolved. So, 
previous time, what we have discussed is, uh, okay, through the civilization along with the development of language, we could, we started communicating each other with different type of people as well. And by doing so, what happened was, people can transfer the culture, useful knowledge and other things, okay? Because we communicate, why? Which language? I don't know Bengali. Bengal go shirimasen ne? Okay, probably he can speak Japanese, but I'm not really happy speaking with him using Japanese. Probably English is the best language for us to communicate. And when language evolves, okay, transfer no culture. カルチャーというのは非常に広い意味を含んでまして、え、とにかく、え、有用な情報、面白い情報、情報というのは情報だけじゃなくて科学的な知識とかそういうのも含まれるわけですが、カルチャルトランスファーのアキュメーションを become possible and then concept of capital and human capital emerges. で、こっから何が生まれてくるのかというと successful or not という言葉も出てきます。なぜでしょう? I said to the in the last lecture, no? Yes. Okay? Some people successfully accumulate the capital much more than the other. Other people? And some people can accumulate human capital much more than the other. キャピタルという言葉がですね、コンセプトとして生まれてきたのは、これらの一連の流れができたのは、このアグラリアンの時です。で、このサクセスフル、ヒューマンキャピタルをサクセスフルした人がどうなるかというと、リッチ。と言われ、サクセスフルにキャピタルを悪夢的できなかった人がプアと呼ばれるようになります。So, in agrarian society, please imagine what is a capital. So, please tell me the example of capital in agrarian society model. Yeah, in the agrarian society, so the most of the people, so we say more than 90% people was the farmer. So you can easily understand what is the most important input or what is the most important factor that we need for the agriculture. We also mentioned in the last class, that is land. So in the agri uh, agrarian society, so land was the most important capital. There are several other capital as well, like the cattle and uh, other tools for the agriculture. So those was considered as a important capital in this アグラリアンソサイティ。例えば、まあ、キャピタルというのはどういうリメンバーだ、ディフィニションのキャピタル。Yes。うん。そう、キャピタルイズエニティ。うん。だってウィキャンアキュミュレートアンドストアザバリュー
、ビットコインセンティング。エニアザイグザンプ。Yeah, definitely. So, if we have the natural resources,、uh. that is one kind of capital. For example, the countries which have the natural gas or the petroleum, s like the Middle East countries, right? They have lots of reserve of the oil. So, that is considered as one of the most important c a p i t a l for the, those countries. The countries like Bangladesh, we have lots of natural gas. So, natural gas is one of the very important c a p i t a l for the development of the Bangladesh. So, normally we call this as a natural capital. All right, good. So, capital is taking many different forms depending on the type of countries. Depending on a type of society. And after the agrarian society, concept of capital emerge. Okay? Concept of capital emerges in agrarian society. Okay? I tell you one more time. Concept of capital emerges in agrarian society. I will give you a question in the final exam related to this. I think we shouldn't use green much.、Okay. It might not be visible for the student.、Uh-huh. Emerges. In agrarian societies. Sorry, my love. Yeah. Hi. My concept of capital emerges in agrarian society. That's one thing. However, capital. Going to be accumulated successfully or not, it depends on the people. 例えば、キャピタルを上手に蓄積してきる人と蓄積できない人が出てきます。このカルチャラルトランスファーというのは、知識や情報や科学的、まあ、その他すべての、まあえー、重要な何がしかを意味しているんだ。それを上手に受け取って、それを上手にアグラリアンソサイアティだと農業に生かしていかなきゃいけないわけですね。で、それを上手にできる人とできない人の間にですね、差が出てきます。差が。さあ、So, do you remember m o r e n o h u n t e r g a t h e r e r Society?How do they share the、yes. food that they catch?Could you please tell them?Yes. So, I think this is one of the most important feature of the hunter gatherer. Whatever they catch, they equally share among the members of the tribe. So、uh-huh. that's why. Okay, Kogo important this car, eh? Ja, Nandi, whatever, ega, Koyu Koto, Bencho, Stiru, no Hatu, Itara, Maz, Mina, Sandi, this, eh? Rich, Toka, Pua, that, you know, Ningen, Shakai, no, Zen, Lexio, Mite, Kita, Naka, Deva, this, eh? Jitsua, Kekko, Saitin, Nina, Te, Araware, Te, Dete, Kita, Deki, Koto, that. いうことなんで,、はい、でですね、はい、じゃあまず言いたいこと「イーコーリーシェア」「ザッツはモイヌル先生生」「モイヌル先生生」「ハンター・ギャザラー・ソサイエティ」「セルフ・プロダクション・セルフ・コンサンプション・トライバル・システム」「アンダー・ディス・システム」Usually, people are equally sharing the food after they gather the food, they catch the prey, fish or something, fish or something and then share within a tribal system, bloodly connected people. However, language and civilization improve the network of human beings in a way we can communicate. Number of cooperation, number of people who can cooperate with each other. Simply expand. Network is expanding so that gradually imperialism 
帝国主義時代そしてディクテーターの時代が始まったじゃあなんでインペリアリズムが重要になってきたかというと協力関係がどんどんどんどんでかくなると人が取引を始めますでクワゼカレンシー so people using some instrument as a substitute of currency like rice、right. or some gold or wheat okay ということで、少しずつ交換経済も始まります。さあ、ここで重要なのは、農業にとって重要なキャピタルとは何かといえば、ランドです。ランドを持てば持つほど成功する。それはなぜかというと、more crop we can get as we expand the land。さあディクテーターシップとインペリアリズムのその背景にはですね農,農耕社会になって人々がより土地を求めるようになったから Does it make sense? More than that?、Okay. And、はい、concept of capital emerges in agrarian society and then those who can successfully accumulate the capital are successful Which they, they are called rich people. Those who could not accumulate capital successfully as compared to the others, poor. Those guys who become successful in accumulating capital become rich who can control the rest of the people. Those who could not accumulate capital. Being controlled by rich. Gradually, okay, concept of rich and poor, okay, Please keep in mind. Big shift from hunter gatherer to agrarian. Many concept s emerges from agrarian society. Moino, do you want to add something? Yes, so if you can just add, if not, that's fine as well. So, the, this is one of the most important f e a t u r e or how we can distinguish because here people w a s in the tribal system. Then they can share their things equally. So, once the, all the things, resources are equally shared, there is nothing about the rich and the poor. But in the agrarian society, we can see the definition of the concept of the rich and poor s t a r t due to the accumulation or due to this capital、right. land. So, this uh, of course, like,、uh, whether they become rich or not, combination of how they get. Capital, capital, how they get human capital. human capital. Those people who are smart, yeah, they can get the capital, they can accumulate capital, but those who are not smart, they are not lucky enough to get these things. I want to ask, probably more. Okay.、Mm. Okay, quiz. Okay,
ンバー14クイズ1ディセンバー14アンサーザレンクスオブピリオドフォーフィッチイーチタイプオブソサイアティコンティニュー Post-Industrial Society が何年続いたのか、Industrial Society が何年続いたのか、Agrarian Society が何年続いたのか、Hunter Gatherer Society が何年続いたのか、その時代時代の人間社会の主要な社会のあり方として、Hunter Gatherer が人間の歴史の中でどのくらいの長さずっと存在したのか、Agrarian がどのくらいの長さ続いたのか。インダストリアルがどのくらい続いたのか、ポストインダストリアルがどのくらい続いたのか、えー、まず考えてお答えください。So, this is the first quiz.、Okay. では、All right. yes. So, this is the first quiz today. This one. Right. And any hint for student? Okay. Please, when you prepare your answer, please, you can search on the website as well. However, Some information on the website may not be precise as well. And in fact, each information source or each book may give the answer. However, one conclusion is same.、Yeah. Okay, could you please tell? Okay. So the society,、uh. when there was no concept of the rich and poor, hunter、uh. gatherers. Hunter -gatherers. And people equally share their resources. So, this is one of the most successful s o c i e t y that s u s t a i n for the very long time. But I don't know whether we should say successful. No, successful in that sense, it is true. It is sustained very long time. Right, 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 right. right. So, one hint of today's quiz is that. This hunter gatherer society, when there was no concept of the rich and poor, was the longest、mm. time period.、Mm. And then, second longest is? Yes, you can follow the sequential、uh. transformation. Uh. Although there was the concept of the rich and poor, but the difference. Of the rich and poor、uh. may not very high in this agrarian society. No, but become very high. Some people Comparatively, are still,、uh. in the later part,、uh. gradually.、Mm. So the rich and poor differences keep increasing、mm. in the agrarian society.、Mm. Still, considering to the rest of the society, like industrial and the post industrial. This agrarian society was second longest, second longest、uh. in this framework.、Uh. So that is the hint, too.、Uh. And uh, uh, this industrial society, I think we can. I think the student know. The student we can know? Simply let. Please imagine industrial society has started after 19. No, no, don't say that exact answer. No, I mean, not the 19th century. But anyway, industrial revolution. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's one、right. of the most important h i n t Okay, and the post industrial. It's just a short time.、Yeah. Super short time. Now we are living in a post industrial society. Then, as Kare が言ってくれたのは Hunter Gatherer Society が人間の歴史を全部眺めたときに大部分を占めています。じゃあその長さはどのくらいなのかアグラリアン・ソサイアティ、はい、人間の歴史の中でハンター・ギャザラーの次に来ましたが2番目の長さを誇ってますが実はハンター・ギャザラー・ソサイアティに比べればほんの一瞬です長さ答えてください何万年単位とかもっと長いかもしれませんよ
。で、インダストリアルソサイエティは、まあ、産業革命が起こった後に始まった時代です。で、ポストインダストリアルソサイエティ。はい。OK。So, this is the first. OK. So, so today's first quiz、right. is this one. So, please answer within one week.、Mm. Okay. Then, if you understand the concept of rich and poor, emerge in agrarian society by looking at this period more closely, we will understand poverty and causes. Okay? And you may wonder why poverty and causes are going to be explained by this agrarian society. Because what happens in agrarian society, even now, influencing our world? That's what I want to say. もうここでアグラリアン・ソサイエティで起こったあるようさまざまな事象がですね現代に至るまでの人々のリッチとプアであるかというその運命に決定的な影響を与えていますでですねそのことについてですねこれから説明していきたいと思いますあれシュドウィー・イレイLet me give you okay,、uh, some refreshments that we have discussed before. Probably in、uh, lectures that we have done. 
in the previous time. I have asked the following question as well. Which area in the world are poor? And Moinul san answered that Africa or South Asia or Southeast Asia mainly. All right. Then, in fact, In fact, these country, some big change or external causes. Not the double C. Okay, we are studying now international development economics and okay, we have asked which area in the world are poor and we give the answer already to you. Africa, South Asia and then Southeast Asia. And I'm asking what is the common feature among them? And this question okay, can be partially answered by this question. Some big change or external causes that induce them to remain poor occurred in agrarian periods. That's what I'm saying. Okay? Agrarian period. Dictatorship and imperialism was one of the governance system. When people have civilization and language, they started to develop bigger empire bigger country, one dictator controls the rest of the country. Some people are successful, some people are poor, rich and poor started to exist. If you are poor, being controlled. If you are rich, controlling. That kind of thing. Then, here, considering this fact, some big change occur among these countries. What are they? That's my question. Okay. Probably it can be considered. Okay, fine. All right. Please a little bit think. Kono Africa to Minami Asia, so she tona Asia no Kunikuri ni Kyotsu stay koto a nan na noka. You know some common feature. Yes, exactly. Please think from now. I give you one to two minutes. Probably I'm, we may need to turn off the video one time. Mm -hmm. Because yes. it's going to be a 40 minutes. Okay, so yeah, 
、えー、ビデオの容量の関係で一旦ビデオを切りますでもう一度録画を始めますが気にしないでまたすぐあの動画が始まりますので気にしないでくださいでは一旦切ります